Okay, this time I've got half a butternut squash and that is about it apart from some store cupboard kind of things that are hanging about. A few pickled chilies, some dried thyme, a bit of smoked paprika, some sun-dried tomatoes, there's about half a jar there. Tiny little bit of sun-dried tomato oil that's left. We've got about a spoonful of onion jam and some olives, some feta and a few pine nuts. Now this is a nice vegetarian bake. And what I'm gonna do is take enough of this squash off so I can get down just so I can just see where the seeds start. And then at this point, just gonna scoop out the seeds, all right? So we're gonna create a hollow. Basically, this is a baked squash. Something very simple, really tasty. I mean, it's a great vegetarian dish, but it's full of flavor. We're gonna pack it with so many different things. And obviously, you could do this if you wanted to with some minced beef in there, some minced lamb. But you know what? It's quite nice to do a veggie kind of dish every now and then. And you scoop out the seeds, hollow it out, and then with the squash that I've taken, I'm gonna just trim the sides and I'm gonna dice it up quite small. Okay, some of the olives, these are mixed pitted olives about two tablespoons of them, and chop them. They go in with the squash. Got a couple of cloves of garlic here, peeled. Just gonna crush them, and then chop them. They go in. A few toasted pine nuts. They go in. Sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. Not too much, okay, because it's a big, powerful flavor. Really strong, really pungent. And here, I've got some pickled red chilies, about a tablespoon of them. Spoonful of this onion jam. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna use it all up, I'm gonna use the last bit. And that's gonna kind of be the binding agent. Stick it all together. Just run your knife through, roughly chop it, but you want, you want a bit of texture to it. There you go in. Some fresh herbs here, I've got some thyme and I've got some oregano. Stick that in. A little bit of smoked paprika, a little bit of dried thyme, but any dried herbs will work. You know, this is dried thyme, you can use dried rosemary, herb provence, no real worries. A little bit, I'm gonna use the leftover of this oil here, okay? This is the old jar of sun-dried tomatoes I've used and finished, but kept the oil. Pinch of salt, pinch of cracked black pepper, and then some feta cheese. Now I'm a big fan of feta cheese, it's absolutely delicious. Particularly with dishes like this, it's really salty, Really good kick to it, okay? Powerful flavour. I'm gonna use about half a block, okay? Just kind of crumble it up. And if you're vegan, you can use alternative, you can use vegan cheese if you want to, or just leave it out. Either way, it's no real stress. Just mix it together. I mean, look at that, that looks incredible, doesn't it? Straight away, you know that flavour that's gonna be bursting out of that is incredible. And then, just gonna stuff it, pack it right in to the butternut squash. Really pack it in. And once you've packed it in as far as you can, and the leftover, just gonna shape on the top and do this kind of lovely dome-like thing. Gonna bake it in tin foil. So, tin foil onto the tray, the squash goes on top. And then this mix, kind of shape with your hands. I mean, the smell of this is fantastic. And then, you just kind of, kind of fold it up into a parcel. And seal it at the sides. And just kind of wrap it all around together. And then that is gonna go into the oven and bake 175 degrees for around about, I reckon 45 minutes maybe an hour, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's not really gonna, let's say an hour. It's going in for an hour. It's been baking, now I said to you for an hour. I'm sorry I lied. It's been in an hour and a half. 
look at that. <sighs> so it's very hot, but the smell that is coming from that is amazing. And you can see that lovely tomato oil from the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna drizzle it all over. And that, my friends, is a beautiful, delicious, roasted butternut squash. This could be one of your meat-free Mondays, if, of course, you have any idea what day it is, because I'm sure loads of us haven't right now. Anyway, enjoy it. The recipe's there. Have a go at making it. And if you've got stuff or ideas that you want cooking, give me a shout out. I'll have a go at doing it. Also, send me some of your pictures. I want to see them. Good ones like this, bad ones like other ones. I don't care. Just keep sending them in. Let's keep that food content going. Guys, take care.